Yo, what is going on guys? Warcrux here and welcome back to the channel. So we're doing the intros a little bit different. We're gonna kind of stray away from the green screen a little while and have a little bit more uh, ambience background to some of the videos just uh, you know, just to see how the analytics go, right? So hopefully you guys had a great and wonderful New Year's and I'm really really excited about today's video because what started out as a meme build um, actually turned out to be uh, pretty viable and it's been really really fun. I've had a blast using this set combo so without further ado fellas let's get right into it all right fellas welcome back and before we hop into the bread and butter of today's video a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members guys thank you so much for supporting me especially during the holidays i appreciate each and every one of you so, um, this, this deadly set combo, which I, I thought of super original, wasn't stolen from Pain of the Axe or anything like that. Um, it is really, really fun. I know it's going to sound like a rehash of material from what I've used in the past. If you guys have checked out a few of my other previous videos, you guys will be very familiar with these sets. And no, it's not Iron Blood. Okay, we're, we're, we're done praising Iron Blood. Honest to God, it needs a nerf. Zoss isn't going to nerf it, so let's abuse it while we can. But in the words of Pan the Axe, the house always wins. So this is a very RNG based deadly set combo and it is quite frankly a lot of fun. So you're going to run into instances where you're going to be an absolute demigod and there's going to be some other instances well uh, you're like a potato, you're a slug. So if you like living life on the, the knife's edge, if you like taking the bull by the horns and you know, d doing the thing, this is definitely a combo for you. And the great thing about this is you can run it on most of any class. Now, I would not recommend this for Magic of Nightblade or Magic of Sorcerer because those classes primarily focus on having a Max of Magicka as a strong defensive option. And uh, these sets just don't give you that. So, what sets we talking about, guys? I've led you on long enough, blue balled you guys for far too long now. So the very first set we're going to mention the RNG aspect of it, you guys are ready for, is Daedric Trickery. Now, I made a couple of videos on Daedric Trickery, how I think it's super overhyped, and uh, to an extent, yes it is, but it's also a very, very good set. So let's go over the two, three, four, and five piece bonuses. Two piece is maximum health, three piece maximum stamina, four piece maximum magic, and then the five piece. Whenever you deal damage, you gain one of five random major buffs for 21 seconds for every nine seconds so technically you can triple stack these buffs right eligible buffs are expedition protection mending heroism or vitality now most of these the buffs are really good for any class really besides maybe expeditions kind of crap and maybe on some classes you don't care about major heroism but uh for the magic of dragon knight for example uh, you care about all of these buffs it doesn't matter what buff you get it's going to be absolutely amazing now let me preface this by saying, when you run this build, or run this set combo, I've tried in BGs and also open world, your tooltips are going to look like absolute dog crap. Your character sheet is going to look like absolute dog crap. Do not let that bewilder you from the potential of running these sets, okay? So the good thing about Daedric Trickery is that none of these can be purged. You know, these are intrinsic buffs to your character. It's a very stingy set. But it's a very, very good set running in my opinion. And getting into the next set, you know, let's keep rolling with the whole Casino Royale RNG theme is Kind Marcher's Cruelty. So Kind Marcher's Cruelty, the two, three, and four pieces in maximum health, three pieces standard recovery, four pieces of armor, and then the five piece. You deal direct damage, you apply one of five random major debuffs. To the enemies within eight meters for 18 seconds now eight meters is actually pretty huge so that is eight meter radius which means it's a 16 meter diameter so it, it's quite large that's what she said <laughs> i had to sorry uh this effect can occur once every eight seconds and only if the enemy is within range again so uh the buffs or debuffs last for 18 seconds it's gonna occur every eight seconds so you have a chance to triple stack these debuffs which is absolutely incredible some of the eligible debuffs are major breach major cowardice major defile maim and major vulnerability okay guys so 
These buffs are not, or excuse me, debuffs are not easily attained in ESO. Kind Markers is, if you guys have seen my sleeper set video, um, this is low key, probably the best five piece damage set in the entire game. Um, I'm no kappa, like, like, like just super pog on this one. It really, really is. So let me explain a lot of these debuffs. Let's, let's say major vulnerability, for example, it reduces everyone's spell and weapon damage by 430 now this reduces their spell and weapon damage of their base spell and weapon damage which means it actually is multiplicative so if you're reducing someone's base damage by this like every time they get continuous attack or major sorcery or you know major savagery or whatever to increase that you're actually amplifying this effect even further so even though it reads 430 weapon and spell damage this more or less translates into like 700 which is about 10% of their damage just knocked off right off the top, okay? So now you're technically 10% tankier, right? And again, these buffs can double and sometimes even triple dip. So you got Major Defile, obviously reducing their healing taken by 16%, which is amazing. Major Cowardice, you have Major Breach, which also reduces their resistances by around 6,000. I mean, it's a little bit below that, but essentially that equates into about 10% more damage swing so technically, Kind Marcher's Cruelty at any given time has a pretty good odds of giving you a 20% swing in your favor, whether it be reducing their damage output or increasing your damage output. So Kind Marcher's is low-key amazing. The only downside is that, yes, these can be purged and there are a lot, a lot of purge ball groups. So this is pretty unfortunate of the downside of Kind Marcher's Cruelty, but it can reapply these buffs or excuse me debuffs every eight seconds so it's really not that bad in the big scheme of things and even if you didn't want to take the whole rng route combined danger trickery with kind marcher's cruelty you could most definitely combine kind marcher's cruelty with plague break so even if these buffs do get their debuffs get purged then plague breaks there to punish them so that's also another really good set combo that you could run with this now when it comes to monster sets or mythics you want to run with this it absolutely does not matter you can run aunt jemima's whatever this is i'm holding in my hand like it looks like aunt jemima's syrup but this is actually shots from shots from last night's stream it's frangelico liquor it's very delicious by the way i could probably drink this like liquid jolly ranchers but TLDR, you can run whatever the hell you want with this. If you, if you really want to do the RNG thing, like you, you could slap on a monster set that does RNG stuff too, kind of like Ender Guardian. If you really want to roll the dice, I remember back in the old, the, the good old ESO days where people would re bet on uh, red, blue, green. You know, people would lose millions and millions of gold wanting to see what the Engine Guardian actually proc. So you can get really nutty with this. But yes, guys, uh, this is a couple of the set combinations i wanted to present to you this is actually low-key really really good again do not be disheartened by the really lackluster tooltips and also the character sheet that's not how this setup functions it is actually really really fun to use and again if the stars align you are an absolute menace in serial and bgs so with all that being said fellas i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you like more videos like this please do not forget to eviscerate the like and subscribe button so you are notified of future content from your boy horcrux because occasionally i do put out decent content not often but sometimes i do and i would like for you guys to be around for that i appreciate each and every one of you coming to my streams i know i've been streaming other games lately i'm just trying to branch out into other genres of the game to help build the community a little bit more than what it is because right now it's kind of stagnant i do appreciate everyone who's supporting the channel but it is important for me as a content creator to branch out into other audiences as well and pull people into our community just so we can make it better right so thanks for joining in on today's video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace